It's summer, and in the United States Hockey League, that means the unofficial start of the new season. More specifically, tryout development camp and a chance to see some fresh faces. My name is Anthony Cardilli, and I'm from Okina, Illinois. Matei Tepley, and I'm from Stamford, Connecticut. Chris Reiniger, and I'm from Brielle, New Jersey. Luca Clucci, and I'm from uh, Quebec, Sherbrooke. I'm Lucas Sachin from Chaska, Minnesota. Young hockey players that, as it turns out, already know a little bit about the Chicago Steel. I just heard about their uh, success in the past and um, you know their championships, uh, trophies, the players that go through their program. I've just seen like the success of the kids that have come through here and the development they've had since from, the, from when the start they get here to when they leave here. It's just incredible. Being from around here, you know, I've been to games and it's an electric, uh, electric building and uh, I know the Steel are very successful and I know how they, uh, they run development and, and uh, they've seen a lot of success in uh, recent years. I just heard about how successful they always were, how well they um, developed their players and, you know, helped them achieve their dreams. Definitely seems like an amazing spot to play. But this is camp and they're still rookies. I've just heard about where Dude, I'm so nervous right Think now. about it. Uh, can you repeat that question? Can you repeat the question? Though? How will you know if you're playing the way you want to play? Holy. <laughs> Steps I'm going to take to get there is... Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Starting a new season also means closing the book on the old one. The Steel had a bitter end to the 22-23 season falling short of their goal to hoist the Clark Cup, losing in heartbreaking fashion to rival Youngstown. Now, just four weeks later, the Steel are back at Fox Valley Ice Arena, having had a chance to reflect on the season that was and wasn't. Obviously, we want to win a championship every year, but at the end of the day, in, in the junior hockey level, development, I'd argue, is just as important. Winning is a big piece of development, but We've been very fortunate to end up first place in our division the last two years. So I think there's been a lot of success on that level, but ultimately probably how we measure ourselves as much of winning is how much better did our players get? How did they grow both on and off their ice? I think we had a great season, great group of guys. I mean, great development across the whole team, but obviously just that uh, losing, losing the playoffs kind of sucks. So we're definitely looking forward to, to getting back at that this year and, and then hopefully going further than that and, and to win it all, that's, that's our goal. Obviously how it ended, it's like easy to look at as a failure, but I think um, we did really well as a group and we were so close. The result obviously is not what we wanted, like obviously we wanted to win, but I think a lot of lessons were learned that year and we're going to be taking that forward going into next year. For the past four seasons, the Steel have been anchored by blue chip prospects Owen Power, Adam Fantilli, and Macklin Celebrini. Yeah, so we were fortunate to have Adam Fantilli. Last year we had Macklin Celebrini, both elite caliber players. Before that we had Owen Power. But sprinkled into those big names are a lot of unbelievable hockey players that we've had, high draft picks. But more importantly, we look at every kid and the potential relative to him. There's players that no one's ever heard of that might be dominating their college team. We're as proud as the guy that's you know, maybe quarterback in a hockey East power play as Owen who goes first overall. But this is the Chicago Steel. And for head coach and GM Mike Garman, it's a reload, not a rebuild. The Steel's top returners know it will take a full team effort to step forward and reach the expectations passed down to them next season. Obviously not having two franchise changing, changing players in uh, Macker and A fans, but I think we'll, we'll bond together as a group and we'll all buy in and we'll be able to play our roles. And I think by everybody just committing to it and just holding up their weight will be huge. Max's presence was always felt. You know, I think he put like almost fear into the opponent with how good he was. But I think with this group, it's gonna be more like, it's a together thing too. We're not gonna just win games based on skill or just let Mac win the game for us pretty much. So I think it's all gonna be up to us and we're gonna have to do it together. Somebody that wasn't playing on power play last year, they're gonna, play power play this year so yeah I think guys are gonna have to step up and do a role that they did not play last season. Yeah I'm not I'm not too worried about that just because I know our, our group of guys coming back we're gonna have all these guys step up and uh, bring those new guys coming in who, who might step into those shoes too we don't know yet so I mean any, anything's possible this next season so I'm looking forward to it. Goaltender Christian Manns is expected to be back as well as most of a solid defensive core. The Steel will be looking to replace some lost offense 
and add the physicality required to make a deep playoff run. The Steel hope to find some of these key pieces at camp, like Willy Wonka and his chocolate factory. Once a year, junior hockey's next wave of talent comes to Geneva, Illinois, hoping to earn a golden ticket into the best organization in junior hockey. You're here for a reason, ultimately. We only have about 100 kids in our whole camp. It's the only camp that we do, and it's all invite only. And so between our returners, our draft picks and invites, kids are hand-selected based on the traits that they have. So by that definition, I think they should just come in, have fun, and play with a lot of confidence. 110 players, invite only. Six teams cut to three. A chance to flash in front of the coaching staff and an opportunity to experience the Steel's unique culture and renowned development model. We believe that winning is a byproduct of development. And so our day-to-day -day goals, every single week when we plan, every single month when we're measuring ourselves, it's are we getting better in the ways that we want to get better, both individually for every player that we have and as a team. For the returners, camp is a chance to begin to form a new leadership group, passing their knowledge onto the young players and helping them fit in. It's also an opportunity to show them what it takes to make steel. I mean, I just want to be super vocal, kind of be, be a guy for those new guys coming into Leon. A lot of them are really young, but also uh, go set the example on the ice. I'm sure they're scared coming in as like a new, unfamiliar territory. So just trying to kind of ease them and let them play their game and just go out there and have some fun and just try to be a leader. I would not want to see a guy going out there trying to do it all themselves, you know, like they're not here to watch somebody try to dangle through five guys and score at camp, so I think they got to use their teammates. I think just having a nose for wanting to get better and stuff is all things that the Steel are looking for, and I think that overall helps make players a lot better if you have that desire to get better every day. Obviously with our historic culture and built up program, a lot of great things that make us who we are is like the hard work on and off the ice. I think just continually working hard and competing. As camp came to an end, it was clear there will be no shortage of skill and talent walking through the doors of Fox Valley Ice Arena next season. New stars will emerge, and the Chicago Steel will continue to be a prominent stop on Top Prospect's hockey journey. Prospects who know precisely where they want to go. Uh, yeah, the ultimate goal is to make it to the NHL. Uh, play in the NHL. To play uh, NHL. But camp is also a time to reflect on what's most important. While it takes scalding hot temperatures to make steel, the steel returners know that the most important ingredient may just be the one you least expect. First and foremost, to uh, you know, love the game. Obviously, have fun doing that. So the more you love it and the more you have fun, the more you're going to want to come to the rink, the more work you're going to put in. You're gonna, if you're having fun doing it, it's going to be easy to do. So Be grateful that you're playing hockey. Literally try to get everything out of every opportunity and don't take anything for granted. Just, just go out and have fun. Don't, don't worry about what's going to happen. Just play your game and don't get, don't get stressed over it. It's, it's just hockey in the end.